In this video, we are going to review the repetition structure and how it works in Python. As you know, programmers commonly write a code in order to perform the same task over and over again. So the goal of writing a Python program is to automate a set of tasks. So rather than um, writing a code that asks a question 10 times, we want to write a code in a way that it gets uh, the task done repetitively. Let's say if we have, we had an example of calculating commission for salespeople. Rather than writing the code 10 times, we want this to code to run for all the 10 salespeople that we have at the store uh, consecutively. So instead of writing this uh, sequence of statements over and over again, what we can do is that we can write a repetition structure uh, or commonly known as a loop structure. So here we look at two broad categories of loops. We have condition control uh, and also we have count control. In the, condi and in the condition control, we have a true-false condition that will control the number of times that a set of actions are going to be repeated in a count control loop we basically have a specific number of times where that um, program or that statement is going to run now in this chapter and in next few uh, sessions we are going to show how we can write these both types of loops Let's first start with the var loop. So the var loop gets its name from the way it works. So as long as a condition is true, the Python will keep repeating the code and it will test for the condition and do uh, the statements that are coming after a var statement. The moment the condition becomes false, uh, the program will get out of that loop. So let's look at this in the format of a flowchart. So imagine that we have an input. We are checking for the condition. If the condition is false, as I mentioned, the program will exit. However, if the outcome of a test is true, the program will run a set of statements, all the actions that are required, whatever that you have written in your code. And what it does, it will repeat and check for the process again. Um, if I want to be more specific, it will basically run the loop over and over and over again. And this is different from the way we were running an if statement in the previous uh, sessions. Because in if statement, we're checking for the condition, and if it's true, we'll do some statements, and then we'll exit. And also in the same way, if there's false, we might do something or we might do nothing, and then we'll exit. The difference between while and if is that it will repeat that process over and over again when we are writing a while statement. Okay, so let's go through some simple examples to see how it works. The general syntax for val statement is val, the condition, colon, then we indent the code, very similar to the conditional structure, and then we write our statements. Okay, so this is a very simple example. Imagine we have a set of numbers. We first set um, i variable to 1, and then we say as long as i is less or equal to 5, print i. And once you print it, add one value, uh, add one to the value of an i variable. So the first run of this code, this is the way uh, Python will interpret this. So it will get the value of i equal to 1. It will print it. So the first run is going to be 1. Then it will add to 1, and will, i will become 2. It will check for the condition. The condition is still true, so it will print 2. 
in the same way it will print three and four and five because it's five is less and equal to five but once i turns into six that condition becomes false and then it will, it will print just set of stars as a for aesthetics just to separate the code so let's see the result of this run so we have one two three four five different iterations of this for loop and then it will exit the while loop and print uh, the last set of strings let's look at another example in this example we talked about uh, the commissions and sales a number of times so we said uh, get the um, sales number if and um, and calculate basically calculate uh, the amount for the commissions let's say 5% 15% 20% and then um, calculate the total commission so we have this and again we want to let's do we want to do this for a number of employees in the organization let's say we have 10 salesmen uh, in our company so what we do is that first we can create a variable and set that variable to yes or true or in this case I said assign it to y um, just to make it easier call that variable keep going but you can call it anything else um, so the first check is if keep going is equal to y go through this loop what is it in the loop prompt the user to enter the amount of sales so receive that value from the user receive the commission rate calculate and display the commission and finally this is the end of the loop this is very important so in order for our loop to uh, be checked so we want to ask the user if they have additional um, let's say salesperson that this loop needs to be repeated for so we prompt the user do you want to calculate another commission enter y um, for yes or n for no and then assign that input variable to keep to keep going so basically you're changing the value so initially it was assigned to y so as long as it's equal to y this uh, process is going to be repeated the moment we are done with it the user will provide n or no and it will exit the loop and it will end the loop here this is an example of how um, a code would look like um, so we have keep going equal to y and we say while keep going is equal literally equal to y do these steps and again as I mentioned what we do is that we ask for input if they want to calculate another um, commission and we say enter y for yes so as long as they do y it will repeat the process let me just run this um, on my end quickly I have the code in idle so let's just run it um, and give it a few examples so says enter the amount of sales I will say 10,000 what's the commission rate I'll just say 20% and then it says the commission uh, is $2,000 which is quite a bit but uh, imagine if, if the company is very generous with the salespeople do you want to calculate another commission enter Y for you so if I say Y it will repeat the loop it says enter the amount of sales I'm gonna say 10,000 100,000 in this case what's the commission rate let's say just 5% and it will come up to $5,000 and again it will ask that question again do you want to calculate another commission and in this case I'm just gonna say no you can also do anything else and then it will exit the loop and it will stop the program so this is how a var loop might work let's run uh, one more example to make sure this is clear and then we're going to talk about some ways to make the code a little more interesting and more complex so we have 
a project that's currently underway as a, in a company called Chemical Labs, and it requires a substance temperature to be checked every 15 minutes. If it's over 102.5, then the technician um, have to do certain steps. If it's under it, it's good. That's the temperature that we want. If it's over, we want the technician to stop, uh, let's say the machine or uh, turn down the thermostat, wait for five minutes, check the temperature again. If it's below the threshold, they can start, let's say the machine or they can up the temperature again. And we have a director of engineering that wants to convey this information. He wants to guide the technician through this process. So from this, we can just make uh, some speculation. So we can see that our criteria is the temperature uh, exceeding 102.5. Uh, so being higher than that should trigger a wall loop. If it's below that, I think we're fine. And um, if it's over, we want to do a set of actions. Let's say print a couple of statements. So let's see an example of a code that we can do on this. Uh, feel free also to pause uh, the video here and do it on your end. You can think of these as some uh, practices uh, for your own. So if, see if you can uh, get the uh, code all right before you're seeing the answer. Here's an example of a code you might like. So we let's say we call a variable maximum temperature and we the initial value is set to 102.5. Then we receive new input from the technician. Uh, we're reading the new temperature. So we say en enter the substances temperature and while the temperature is greater than that number, or we say while the temperature is greater than 102.5, do the set of actions. Print the temperature is too high, turn the thermostat down, wait for five minutes, and take the temperature again. Uh, so that's the message, let's say, we're presenting to the user. And then what we do is that we get new values for the temperature, very similar to previous examples. So temperature, uh, wait after you waited for let's say five minutes enter the new temperature and if uh, the temperature is again over the threshold it will redo the loop if it's not so once that condition is false it will print these two statements let's say the temperature is acceptable uh, make sure to check the temperature again in 15 minutes or any other uh, message that is similar to this